Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time on this channel, I'm Anne Amy Colchin. I'm an author and I also do business. If you're new and you haven't subscribed already, please do subscribe and click the notification bell. That will let you know when I've uploaded another video. Now today's video, on this channel we talk about real life issues. Now today's video I'm talking about abortion um just over two years ago i had this dream and in this dream i was in front of a clinic an abortion clinic and you know women were being rushed into this clinic and um i kept stopping them like trying to stop them being um rushed into the clinic and then all of a sudden Um, and I was trying to stop them from being rushed into the clinic and then the clinic was on a main road the clinic was on a main road and um, all of a sudden I saw a bus full of people and um, I didn't know all the people there but there was one specific person who we most of us would know um, you know hussein bolt the athlete um was on that bus and i woke up from the dream and in the morning i just felt that morning i just felt you know it was about abortion like and then i just felt led in my spirit that you know abortion is the robbery of nations imagine like um whether you know it or not before we i make that point um whether you know it or not so many lives so many babies are um murdered through abortion and we even recently saw the release of the diy abortion law which permits women to have abortion at home now that in itself is dangerous because it can kill you um but abortion when done wrongly as well it puts you the woman at risk and um you may end up like dying or sometimes you may end up not being able to have children and um and so and so yeah so that is the implication of abortion but it also robs us of give me a minute guys So you guys do bear with me. I'm just trying to come. Um so yeah, is it robs us as nations because imagine all these children that have been um aborted. Yeah. No, it's a charger, yeah. Yes, yeah, a charger. Um all these children who have been aborted um what they carried because each child who is is released in the earth is released with a purpose god is the one who allows children to be born he's the one who gives children and so when he gives you a child um he, that child comes in the earth with an assignment so imagine if we got rid of a child that through abortion basically that had the what's it called the answer to some of the technologies that we need in our day some of the medication that we need in our day some of the things that we need in our day and we got rid of all these six something billion children around the world and um and so yeah it's it's um what's it called it's mind-boggling so imagine like if we put it this way uh imagine if hussein bolt's mother ha had aborted hussein bolt like jamaica would have been robbed of their best athlete and jamaica would have also been robbed of one of their contributors because um within the economy because hussein bolt is also a business owner and so imagine what 
Jamaica would have been lo losing out, and we as a people, we would have missed out on what he, what he has released in the earth, which is like through his business, you know, his money transfer, and his uh, motorcycle, and then just watching an athlete who is so great at what he does, you know. So imagine all these babies who have been aborted. Like, we have missed out on solutions to our problems that we may be asking god um solution for and is releasing solutions through these children who are being aborted now the other spectrum of abortion is that it also grieves god and it's a sin against god and basically it's one of the sin of shedding of innocent blood which brings a curse upon a land and upon a people so when when um these laws are released like the people who are releasing it the government who are releasing it are actually robbing are actually um sorry grieving god and sinning against god and um one of the nations that no you can't go up there one of the nations that um does this like one of the reasons why they actually do abortion and they um, advocate abortion is because of depopulation and you'd probably ask like why like population control like why why would you say that china a few years before that i had another dream of china like when i was praying for china um i had this dream and in this dream i see this a particular house in china and this woman, she kept like pointing at her stomach, like doing circular motion. And all of a sudden I was like, okay, it's to do with pregnancy. And then she moved and a child was behind her. And then there was a man next to her. And then obviously like, you know, like kept doing the circular motion. And when I woke up, I knew it was the issue of abortion. Now China is one of those uh, nations where they actually, um don't allow families to have more than a certain number of children and they often use abortion to control as one of the ways of controlling the population in china and so that in itself is like grieving god and also robbing china and also robbing other nations because even the us does it like among um afro-caribbean or no african american sorry um is one of the largest places that they aim to have um to advocate abortion in those areas and so it was no wonder like god would even show me like all these people on the bus they were like actually caribbean people like you know people of my uh ethnicity afro-caribbean and uh ethnicity so um it's really grieving to god and it's dangerous it's a sin against god but also it's dangerous for you the mother so if you're a mother expecting a child at this time and you've been advised to have abortion i would tell you from a woman's perspective like don't go for it because you grieve whether you whether you know it or not you grieve that child like you just um what's it called you've just lost a child like which is the truth and you know like somebody has just died and somebody who has experienced abortion because when i was younger i was um before i gave my life to christ i was actually pregnant i got pregnant and i was told you know have abortion um and i and although i didn't want to have abortion personally because i didn't believe in all of that stuff um i ended up having abortion because my family just kept pushing me and pushing me and pushing me and pushing me to have abortion this abortion let me tell you the pain doesn't go away like the emotional pain does not go away like you grieve that child and you wonder how the child would have been how the child would have looked what the child would have been doing and you know some people may say well you can ask god for forgiveness and all of that that still doesn't take away the pain that you will feel yeah that still doesn't take away the memory of what you've gone through as a woman and also the men 
Um, I believe like no. they'll probably be grieving the same no. way because you're you're gonna be thinking the same way like what would this child be and you know it doesn't stop you from being a parent once you're a parent you're a parent whether your child is present or they're not you know you're still a parent so guys if you're in that position where you're pregnant you're expecting a child and you're afraid and you've been advised to have abortion don't do it don't do it it's better that you have that child and look after your child until they are of age and to, to be able to look after themselves you know um rather than having abortion at convenience and um so i shall leave you guys with that but if you have any comments if you have any um yeah if you have any comments any questions concerning this topic feel free to put it in the description in the comment section sorry and i will respond to you accordingly but that is it for today i shall see you guys in the next video